What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to walk through our Vercel one-click deploy template, show you how you can get up and running with Payload Quick. So here's a readme. I suggest you guys walk through this at, after you watch this video. Uh, it'll tell you everything that comes along with this website template. We also offer the one-click deploy for our blank template as well. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use our website template. So start off, click deploy. What you're going to do first is select whatever GitHub account you want to attach this new repo to. So I'm just going to give this a name, one click deploy, and then select whatever cell team that you want to attach this to. This does work with all tiers of your cell. So whether you're hobby, pro, enterprise, and hit create. All right, looks like I've used that name before. One click for cell template. There we go. Only takes a few seconds for this. Now we're going to add Neon for Postgres for a database, and we're going to add Vercel blob storage for our media. And I'm just going to use the defaults on all of this. You guys can obviously customize this while you're setting this up or after, um, but for this, I'm just going to speed right through here. So select your region. Great. Hit continue. Use default name. A few seconds for this. Hit done. Looks good. Now we're going to add blob storage. Create. Connect. Perfect. Now you've got to enter values for the environment val variables. Um, I'm just going to smash my keyboard on this. You guys obviously use whatever method you want to for these. And then hit deploy. Now this will actually start building the project. This normally takes anywhere from three to five minutes. So we're just going to hang out for a little bit while this builds. All right, we're up. So let's go check this out. We've got our new project. Let's head on over. Here's our beautiful website template. So we're going to head over to the admin dashboard. So first thing we need to do is create our first user. Enter your email password, name, weird, let's try that again, all right, so here's our admin dashboard, uh, first thing we should do is see our database, um, what this will do is give us a few pages and a few dummy posts that we can work with. So we're going to seed the database. This only takes a few seconds. I'm um, just going to hang out for a sec. Should be finished up quick. And then I'll take you into the pages and the posts and give you a look around real quick. Done. All right. So now we can check out the front end. So now we have a fully working front end. You've got a nice big hero image, a couple content blocks, big media image, and a post archive, and then a call to action. Pretty cool. So we're going to head back over to the dashboard, go to pages. So here's our home page that we were just looking at. Here's our content for the hero. You can add links, your media, and then here's the content. So we had our content block, media block, archive block, and that call to action. So that's pretty cool. You can go over here, update this content. One click deploy. You'll see it auto saving, which is nice. Hit publish, head back over here. Boom, updates. 
pretty fa pretty fast. So, like I said, there's also dummy posts in here, categories, users, redirects. This template really gives you a lot. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, feel free to go through the README, check all of that out, and kind of go from there. So this is just kind of a nice way to get up and running, give yourself a feel for payload, how it works, and really only a few minutes. So I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for using payload.